everyone welcome back to my channel thanks so much for tuning into your weekly bonus reading this can be for any sign watching uh, so this is going to be a reading to try to channel the current energies and if you find yourself clicking on this reading then there may be something in here that is essential to your situation um, and i will be looking into both parties both uh, yourself and your person uh, and we'll see what comes up in the cards uh, for the both of you and what you're currently going through so um, if there's something here that resonates you know please take it please meditate on it um, if there's something here that doesn't then maybe the message isn't for you at this current time but regardless, I do appreciate you being here. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, that would be very much appreciated. Um, otherwise, I did give the cards a good uh, pre-shuffle off camera, but we'll give them another good shuffle on camera. Um, and we'll have a look at you first, okay, your current energy. And then we'll look at your person. Okay, what's happening for you? Okay, you're not getting what you want right now, and you're stubborn about it. You're in a fight, maybe, of some kind, um, or you're needing time alone. You're in hermit mode, okay? This is, uh, um, hermit mode is Virgo, okay? So a lot of you, maybe if you are a Virgo, maybe this message is more so for you. Um, what I'm getting is is that right now you're, you want to be alone. Um, you need time to think, or you need time to talk something out i i do feel like you feel like you want to fight for something or you you're currently in some sort of argument or you want to win the fight you want to win a battle of some kind and you're sticking to your guns here okay you've come up with a very stubborn energy and that's okay because i feel like your wish isn't being fulfilled right now um by your person the ten of cups is reversed which would indicate there's a relationship that's in turmoil uh there's a relationship around you that's facing hardship and right now, your future looks very bleak between yourself and this person. And that's coming up as concerning because it's reversed. It may be around a cancer. We've got the moon here as well. Or it can symbolize that there is some sort of emotional detachment. I do feel like um, you're coming up as as the, the message, the cards are here that, that are coming up around you is that um, you need to be alone right now. Okay, you need to be alone with your thoughts. Maybe you need to be single. Maybe you need to take some time out because I feel like that's going to give you a fresh perspective on your connection or your relationship. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, um, it's all about, you know, finding your roots, finding stability and being grounded. And I and I feel like you're coming in this energy, you're coming up to this energy where you're like, is this person going to help me with my future? Are they going to help me grow? I think you're asking yourself some big questions or some big questions need to be asked. Um, and it's tough, you know, be easy on yourself. With the Ace of Swords, this this can be about a battle. This can be about, there's sharp words. There's there's um, hurtful words, okay? There's, there's anger, I feel, um, that's coming up next to you here. Um, you do want to fight for it, though. Um, a lot of you want to fight for this connection or the ace of swords could indicate slicing away removing things um, from your life and I feel like a lot of you right now what's best for you is to remove communication with a person because right now you're not feeling like um, you're not feeling like the love is there you're not feeling the attachment you're not feeling close to your person right now okay you're not in this energy of um, you know, hugging each other and being intimate and making love and having each other in your arms. And you have these moments and I think a lot of you are holding on to them. And this is completely natural. You know, you're very drawn to this person. You clearly have a very deep connection with the moon here. Um, but it's reversed and, and the moon reversed. Uh, it can be Pisces because the fish are here as well. It's showing me that emotion is not there. So you feel like someone doesn't care about you anymore. Or you feel like maybe you've cried to this person. Maybe you've been upset to them. Maybe you've told them how you feel. And you don't feel like they care anymore. Okay. Or they're not showing a very caring side. And as a result, you're stepping away. You're being yourself. Okay. You're 
focusing on yourself, self-growth, self-love, and that's a powerful energy to be in. Um, but the hermit is is about um, is, is a perfectionist energy. So you're trying to perfect yourself, um, you know, maybe internally or externally, and that's the focus here. But there is communication. I think it's communication with yourself, though, rather than with this person. But let's um, go on the flip side of things and see what's coming up for your person. What four cards um, can we channel this person's energy? What are they thinking or feeling maybe? Okay, a lot of you are not going to like this, but this person is coming up extremely positive or they're feeling relieved now if you're having some sort of disassociation with this person i get with the world card and the page of pentacles they're trying to distract themselves with something else and maybe with an online love it could be with like uh, hopping onto social media gaining more followers um putting themselves out there to the world um sharing something to the world they are in a in an energy where they're not the, the nine of swords is reversed so right now the way they're coming across or the energy they may be feeling is because it's reversed, it would indicate they're trying not too much to think about what you're going through. Okay, so if you're not feeling the emotion, we know why. It's because this person isn't showing any right now. You know, all of that is either they've pushed it to the sub subconscious or they genuinely are disconnecting here. Now, I know it's not nice to hear and it's going to be a hard pill to swallow. But I think with the cards that I'm seeing here is that they're in a celebratory stage. And if they're celebrating life without you, uh, or if they're distracted by other things, then that could be a real indicator to how much they're actually committed and how much love they're actually feeling. It could be a front, okay? It could be just like that's what they're showing you. And like I said, subconsciously, there's more going on. Um, but I get with the Page of Pentacles, it's page energy. You've come up as the queen, whereas they coming up as the page. So straight away, there is a contrast. You have either put more into this connection or you, you are either suffering more because of it rather than them because they're coming up with page, which would indicate they don't feel as strongly as you do maybe. Um, or they're younger, they're inexperienced. They, they really don't know how to handle this sort of situation. Um, and as a result, it's like they may think they're free the world is freedom, okay? The world is, is a freedom card. It's a card of being able to do whatever they want, see who they want, meet up with who they want, move where they want to. You know, they have all this freedom, but eventually there's going to come a time where they're going to feel lonely or they're going to feel like what's it, what life is like without this marriage or this engagement or this relationship, um, and it's going to hit them. But I do want to say that it's a lesson they have to learn the hard way, and Pay, what are pages? Pages are inexperienced. Pages are youthful. Pages come to the court. Okay, it's a courtly deck from the medieval era. So pages come to learn. Um, and I feel like this is their lesson. Not having you in their life is their lesson. And it's something they need to learn. They need to see what life is like. Maybe they need a taste of what life is like without you. And it's tough. Okay, it's tough for you in dealing with that. Okay, it's it's a tough reality. Um but I guess a lot of you are going to outgrow this connection, I feel. Um, and the growth that, that I'm seeing is the page of, uh, sorry, the queen of pentacles. She's all about growth. She's the last queen in the deck. So she's she's ready for the big time love, okay? She's ready for something more serious than maybe what this person can give you, at least right now. It doesn't mean that it's forever, um, but right now their present energies. I think maybe it could also be that they're not feeling sad, okay? Just because they're not feeling sad, it doesn't mean that they're not longing for you or they're not missing you. They could be checking up on your social media. Um, you know, they could be asking about um, you to the people they work with, if you've got mutual friends, for example, uh, or even um, with the four of ones, what comes to mind is, is that they're missing the happiness in the relationship. They miss talking to you, you know, they miss sending sexy messages to you, maybe. They miss the playfulness because pages can also be very playful. They don't take things too seriously. So it's like a it's like a double-edged sword here. It's either they're 
not taking things seriously or they don't know the extent to which they've upset you or they've hurt you or what they've done wrong. And seeing this, it makes me think that the person could either be just not understanding and they're sort of missing the fun you had in your connection, in your relationship. Um, because the Four of Wands is looking at happy times, it's celebrating. So they're obviously cel celebrating something or they're thinking about um, some good times, especially. And maybe if you are involved in a long distance connection with your person, if they're foreign, okay, the world card can represent someone who is further away, someone who is right now not accessible. Um, and maybe they've adapted to that reality. Uh, and maybe you've been apart for, for a while now and that's what this person is feeling. They're feeling that void and they just want to maybe just try to distract themselves. That's what the Page of Pentacles tries to do after all. He tries to distract himself with other things. So maybe they're trying to let go of the tension. The nine, maybe they're over the fighting, they're over the sadness because nine is a number of completion. So um you know, you both, you've both come up as nines here, uh, and it's in the same, it's in the same position, both, both here. So you both have endings, or you both have something you want to complete, or finish, or just be done with. Um, and that nine is sitting in the same position, so it could be that you want to end something, the both of you. It's mutual, but it's in the same area, meaning um, maybe you want to end fighting, or maybe you want to end... Um, a certain way of doing your relationship or maybe you want to end tox um, toxic energy in your relationship or maybe you want to end the relationship in, 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 in total there's some sort of mutualness here and you know there may be an opportunity I feel like with the world card things things are still open-ended and I sense that with the ace there is an opportunity here maybe more on your side to take things and, and make something of it put it into action, reach out or end things completely. It sort of appears like the power is in your hands more than theirs. Um, so maybe this does resonate and maybe it does not, but I, I hope it does. And I hope there's something here that sort of strikes a chord with you here. Um, but I do appreciate you popping over and please remember this is for all signs. Okay. So if you've clicked on this message, then consider it a message from the universe um, through the tarot cards. So uh, thanks so much for tuning in everyone. Um, it really is appreciated. Much love, lots of love, healing, and um, hopefully we'll be in touch later this week. So thanks again, everyone. And bye for now.